The most effective certification for getting hired in cybersecurity today costs absolutely nothing and can be completed in two weeks. On the other hand, the most expensive beginner cybersecurity certification costs $404 and it takes most people 40 hours to study for it. I know these sound like big claims, but we will go over them in detail in a moment. However, understanding why this kind of difference exists we completely change how you approach your cybersecurity career. Cybersecurity jobs are growing 32% through 2032. Companies are desperate for talent, but most people getting into cybersecurity, they're making the same critical mistake. They're choosing certifications based on what sounds impressive instead of what actually works in today's job market. The result is they spend months studying for the wrong certification, burn through their savings, and still can't land that first cybersecurity job. But today, I'm going to break down the four certifications that matter most for beginners in 2025 and I will give you the real cost, the actual difficulty, what employers think of each one and most importantly, which career path they actually open up, okay? By the end of this video, you will know exactly which certification matches your situation and the fastest path to your first cybersecurity role. Now let's start with the one that is quietly becoming the smartest choice for beginners. That is ISE 2 Certified in Cybersecurity or CC. CISE 2 is the organization behind CISSP, which is basically the PhD of cybersecurity certifications. They launched CC in 2022, specifically for people with zero experience and they made the training and exam completely free. Over 500,000 people have enrolled and 62,000 have already earned it. The content covers five core domains, security principles, business continuity, and disaster recovery, access controls, network security, and security operations. What makes CC brilliant for beginners is that it teaches you the fundamental concept without overwhelming you with vendor-specific details. You learn why security controls exist before you learn how to implement them. This builds a solid foundation that makes every certification easier. The exam is 100 multiple choice questions, 120 minutes, and you need 700 out of 1,000 to pass. Most people study for two to four weeks using ISC2 free materials. Now, the challenge with CC is that it's still new. You won't see many job listings specifically asking for it yet, okay? But hiring managers, they're starting to recognize it because they know what ISC2 represents. The real value of CC isn't just the certification itself. It's that passing it makes you an ISC2 member, which gives you access to their professional network, continuing education, you know, and a clear pathway to advanced certifications like CISSP down the road. CC is perfect if you're completely new to IT. If you are on a tight budget, right? Or say, if you want to test whether cybersecurity is right for you without financial risk. Comptia Security Plus, on the other hand, is the certification everyone talks about. And for good reason, it appears in 13% of all cybersecurity job listings, more than any other entry-level cert. The current exam is SY0701. It was updated in November 2023 to include cloud security, zero trust architecture, and AI related threats. And it covers eight domains, which are general security concepts, threats and vulnerabilities, security architecture, security operations, security program management, and governance. Now, what sets Security Plus apart is its breadth and depth. Okay? Here, you don't just learn what a firewall is, you learn how to configure firewall rules for different scenarios. Also, you don't just memorize attack types, you understand how to detect and respond to them. The exam is 90 questions over 90 minutes, including performance-based questions where you actually configure security tools or analyze logs. You need a 750 out of 900 to pass this exam. Now, I'll be honest with you, the downside here is cost. The exam is $404 and most people spend another $200 to $400 on training materials. Study time typically ranges from 30 to 60 hours, depending on your background, okay? But Security Plus is worth the investment, I can tell you that. And the reason is because it's vendor-neutral 
and globally recognized. It is required for most government cybersecurity jobs under DOD 8570 requirement. Now, if you want maximum job opportunities across the most industries, I bet Security Plus is your first bet, okay? The certification is also stackable. It's the foundation for CompTIA's advanced SAT like SciSA Plus for SOC analysts or Pentest Plus for penetration testers. Security Plus is ideal if you have some IT background. You can invest $600 to $800 in total and you want the certification that opens the most doors immediately. Now, third on my list is Google's Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. This is completely different from traditional certifications. Instead of one exam, it's an eight course program that takes most people four to six months to complete. The program covers foundational cybersecurity concepts, but focuses heavily on hands-on skills. You learn Python scripting, Linux command line, SQL for security analysis, and how to use SIM tools like Chronicle and Splunk. What makes this program special is that you actually do cybersecurity work. You analyze real security incidents, you investigate network traffic, and you build a portfolio of projects that prove you can handle the job. The cost, the cost is right around $49 per month through Coursera. So roughly $250 to $300 if you complete it in six months. Now, there's often financial aid available that can reduce or eliminate the cost entirely. That's majorly because Google has partnerships with over 150 employers, including American Express, Walmart, and Deloitte, who specifically look for graduates of this program. And also, you get direct access to their job boards upon completion. However, the challenge with Google certification is that it's not a traditional certification that HR department recognizes. Okay, you won't see job listings asking for Google Cybersecurity Certificate, but you will see listings asking for the specific skills you learn, like Python scripting or SIM analysis. Now, in my opinion, the real value is in the portfolio you build. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical, and focused on real action. It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you'll binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought, I'm going to do something about that, and then didn't? That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support, okay? We're not just learning, you're giving tasks, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. When you interview for a SOC analyst position, you can show actual security incidents you've investigated and tools you've used that practical experience often matters more than paper certifications. Google's program also prepares you well for Security Plus, okay? The concept overlap significantly. So many people use it as Security Plus prep while building practical skills. This certificate is perfect if you learn better by doing rather than memorizing, okay? And if you're targeting SOC analyst roles specifically or if you need to build confidence with Anton Cybersecurity tools, certification number four, Microsoft SC900 Security, Compliance, and Identity Fundamentals. This is the entry point to Microsoft Security Certification Track. It covers security concepts in general, okay, but it focuses specifically on Microsoft approach using Azure and Office 365. You will learn about Azure Active Directory for Identity Management, Microsoft Defender for endpoint protection 
and compliance tools like Microsoft Purview. The exam is 40 to 60 questions over 45 minutes and costs just $99. Most people can prepare in one to two weeks using Microsoft Free Learning Path. So, why did this one make the list? I believe you might ask. SC900 is valuable because most large organizations use Microsoft technologies. If you understand how Microsoft handles security, you are immediately useful to a huge portion of employers. All right? This certification also sets you up for advanced Microsoft security SAT like Azure Security Engineer or Identity and Access Administrator, which are highly sought after and well paid. The limitation is that SC900 is narrow in scope. It won't teach you network security fundamentals or how to respond to incidents. It focused specifically on Microsoft Cloud Security tools. SC900 works best as a supplement to a broader certification like Security Plus or CC. The combination shows employers you understand both general security principles and specific Microsoft implementations. All this means this certification is ideal for you if, and this is a big if, you know you'll be working in Microsoft environment, okay? If you want a quick win to build momentum or if you're planning to specialize in cloud security, okay? So which certification should you choose? 